All right, hello everyone. What is up? Gaming comedy fun and grief here, guys. Today's video is an updated video um, of a video I made probably a long time ago, and uh, yeah, basically, what was what was that video about? Well, it's about what this video is about. And how many times can I say the word video in like two minutes? I don't know, guys. Um, <laughs> let me know down in the comments. But anyways, yeah, today we're gonna be talking about how to get a lot, a lot, a lot more bass out of Spotify and uh, a lot of people actually surprisingly don't know how to do this and they look it up on YouTube and uh, yeah that's actually really surprising to me it's pretty easy to do all right real fast and simple it's even faster on mobile and wow it does make a huge difference you your ears will thank you so much especially if you want more bass and you don't know how to get it and you, you like love that bass like ugh, it's just a feeling you know trust me guys i love it myself and i'm going to tell you how to get it today so as you can see we have spotify here we got some rasputin going on um we'll just have this is america set up ready but yeah so uh in the actual spotify here you cannot um, do it at least as far as I know you cannot make a change um, You know in how to do this you can go up here go to settings, but like that doesn't tell you anything um, it doesn't change anything and um, It's kind of it's kind of like that. So basically This is how you do it what you're gonna want to do the bottom screen. I, I have two displays. It's not on this display um, but you're gonna want to go down to your little speaker symbol um, on your hot bar and uh, You are gonna want to open You're gonna want to open these sounds and it'll bring you up with a thing like this if, if you don't get this guys Don't worry um, That's okay, and uh, you're gonna want to find your speakers. Uh, you can see I have all my Nvidia speakers here Elgato stuff like that bleh. Um, but the one here, you know your default speakers um, this might also be headphones, um, whatever your audio comes out of, make sure you find that. Um, you can test, you can actually test right here, make sure it's the right one. And uh, what you're going to want to do is go into properties. Now I've set mine up, but I will completely uh, reset it just for you guys. So we're going to want to go to enhancements. And so yeah, guys, basically once you are here, what you're going to want to do is select equalizer and uh, you can select all these other ones I don't notice a huge difference um, sometimes loudness equalization can actually mess with your sound especially if you're gaming um, so yeah I would recommend just equalizer you can test the other ones out on yourself but for today's video you're just gonna want to click on equalizer and you're also gonna want to go down and select bass um, for the setting here and we will click on these three dots and these three dots basically will allow us to customize the base setting um, How we want now a little bit of science for you boys here um, Waves especially low frequency waves Have more bass and if you guys look up um, like human sound frequency spectrum or something on YouTube um, you'll find that the lower tones the lower frequencies and Hertz will actually sound more bassy and uh, of course the high frequency ones are like treble like really high pitch noises and the nice the nice range okay that you want to be at is um, around I would say 45 to 60 that's probably the th thickest bass um, that you can get and yeah basically as you can see 31 and 62 you will want these all the way up now once you start getting here as you can see this is a curve um, is very very good we want this kind of curve um, to be happening and uh, because if we see this curve you know we see this curve here that means that we value bass over treble and over higher pitch noises so basically we are gonna make this a better oh shoot my bad um, but we're gonna make this a, a bigger difference of a curve so we are gonna actually not have that going on in the background we'll have well let's see let's see pull up some NCS releases here and uh, we'll just play zigzag so we'll have zigzag going 
Now you guys can test this with your own music. I'm gonna test it with zigzag here. Um, but you know, you might want to just test this out first on your own. Just make sure these top two, 31, 62, are maxed out. Save, and we'll call this uh, base. And uh, yeah, so you apply. Also, make sure you do turn on immediate mode. Um, that'll make these uh, switches a little bit faster. So this has a little bit too much bass for me. Um, so I'm gonna lower 31 down there. Let's save. Um, let's call this bass again. And yes. Right, X. So as you can see, if I take these down, there's very little bass. But if we have a curve like this, that will give us a nice space. Once these start getting down a little bit lower, that will you will hear an effect of uh, your midtones. Okay, that will definitely affect it. So your one, your 500, one, and 2K should all have a nice little step down. Um, yeah, you can mess you can mess around with this as you would like. Um, let's, let's just pull up, um, let's see, I think this is, I think this is a good time, yeah. So you can test it out, save, and we'll save this one as base, and we will, I'll show you guys the difference that it makes. So say we turn this off. Right now you don't notice the difference, but you can just tell. It really does bring out the bass, and uh, you guys will definitely notice, even more on mobile. So here comes the bass drop, and you guys will definitely be able to tell. And uh, I don't know if you guys can notice it, but um, I do have a little sound analyzer here uh, going in the background. And uh, basically, on the right side, that's uh, bass, and on the left is uh, treble. So basically, from right to left is uh, your low to high. Um, and when I do, you guys can tell it more in the bass areas of the song, but when I do turn it on, you can see that gets bumped up even higher than it normally is. It does get amplified, which is good. That means we, well, have more bass. And, uh, yeah. That's basically it, guys. That is how to increase your bass on PC. And I will show you now how to, uh, do it on mobile. And, uh, I'm gonna listen, I'm gonna finish the rest of the song, and then I'll, uh, I'll see you guys then. All right, hello everyone, what is up? Gaming Comedy Vinegar for today, guys. I'm gonna show you how to change bass settings and, well, give yourself some more bass on mobile. Now, I'm doing this on my iPhone 10, iPhone X, whatever you call it, um, but this does work on any other version of iPhone as long as you are, well, running Spotify. And uh, this is very simple, very easy, very fast, and uh, I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. So, you know, hop into Spotify, you know, chillin', got your songs, got your music. Uh, you know, this is Spotify, blah, blah. Um, but yeah, you're gonna wanna tap on the gear and go to playback. Now, once you are here, click on equalizer at the very top, and, uh, well, you can mess around with that stuff. And uh, yeah, this is what my base settings looks like. However, um, it will be turned off and will look like this. So, once yours looks like this, you can either copy mine or uh, do whatever. Make sure you turn the equalizer on if it's not already. 
and uh, now this is when you can start changing your things. Now 60 hertz is your base and uh, the farther over to the right you get the less base that is. Now I personally could go um, for this type of curve which is a only 60 hertz curve with very little um, 2.4 kilohertz and 15 kilohertz kilohertz <laughs> but you can also go for a, le a level like this which you saw at the beginning now this will bring out your mid and high tones more and uh, we can do a little sound test <laughs> You can hear when I turn on and off the equalizer, it does make a huge difference. And uh, especially when wearing headphones, whew, it is, it is crazy, guys. So yeah, there you go. Nice, easy, and fast. That's how you can change your settings. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it did help you, make sure you leave a like. Let me know down in the comments. And uh, yeah, enjoy your bass. See ya.